Hey T Squad, it's your girl Keisha, aka Cover Me Pink, and I'm here with this week's fashion killer video. I drop videos Monday through Sunday. Everything that I say is for entertainment purposes only and not to be taken seriously, okay? So if that works for you, then let's get into this video. So last week was the season finale of Real Housewives of Potomac, and we still had some confessional looks left over to go over before the season is officially officially done uh, this week is the first part of the reunion i will be dressing up so stay tuned for my look this sunday but let's get into the final confessional looks from season seven. First up is the grand dame and she is serving us alien superstar click click this is giving me battlestar galactic <laughs> galactica this is giving me uh, WWE Divas champion. Uh, she looks like she is headed to Comic Con. She's giving me um, Elderly Storm. Uh, this is a lot. <laughs> this is a lot of look and a lot of like, don't like it. All right. Uh, the hair, I really don't care for. She tried to go for that kind of like bedroom tousled hair with the little tendrils and stuff. I don't like it. Uh, the makeup is cool for what it is, but this outfit, son, is just an abomination. I hate these gloves with these pointed ends that's giving me Maleficent. Uh, you have then the studded bustier with the Batman ears coming out of the boobs. I don't know what, uh, Karen and her team were going for. But this is giving me evil frozen. <laughs> I don't know what this is. But this is mean. <laughs> it's very, very mean. And I don't think that we should have been accosted with this look. You know, I normally go up for Karen. She seems like a very sweet lady. But this day, when she filmed this confessional look, she was coming for blood. <laughs> she was coming for blood. And she said, I'm going to disrespect these people. I'm going to disrespect them. And I'm going to disrespect them hard and with everything that I have. So I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to give Karen a road kill. Candias is up next. And she is giving us Taste the Rainbow. She's giving us Skittles. She's giving me um, Nicki Minaj left this outfit in her dressing room last season at the reunion and she hurried up and scooped it up and was like, I'm going to wear this in my confessional and serve you Nicki realness. Uh, I hate this. I absolutely hate this. I never want Candias to wear this pink wig ever again in life I'm happy that she tried to switch it up and do something different with the hair because y'all know I cannot stand that uh brownish reddish color she's been wearing since her first season on the show when she was on watch what happens live I believe it was what maybe the season no it was the week before the season finale episode aired, she looked absolutely stunning. She had on a wig that was parted down the middle that was ombre going from black to blonde. Loved it. I would love for her to come back next season with that look. But this, uh-uh, no ma'am, Pam. The red um, leather blazer is really not doing anything for me. It looks like something that she could have got from like Express or New York and company. She has on jeans with it. It just doesn't scream housewife. This just screams baby mama. <laughs> I just don't like this. It's just cheap and gimmicky. And like I said, the pink hair is no, I just know this is giving me love and hip hop, not real housewives. You know what I'm saying? This is giving me basketball wives, not real housewives. This is giving me baddies West, not real housewives. Don't like it at all. Road kill. Roberto Julius Dixon is up next and he is in this black ensemble. And I must say, I like this look on on Robin this is one of her better looks you know normally she looks a hot stinking mess but this time I think that she decided to wake up and actually put forth an effort to look nice the weave is cute for Robin you know normally her hair is atrocious so I'm gonna give her a thumbs up for the hair she actually has decent glam as far 
far as her makeup. I like this blazer and the cut of it. It's different. The neckline looks really nice on her. It tames down her muscular shoulders. It gives her more of a soft, sophisticated, ladylike look. Don't really know if that chain belt was needed or not. It's kind of a little bit distracting, but this looks glam. It looks like Upper East Side Gossip Girl mom you know, type of attire, Upper East Side, type of mom going to their child's PTA. So for Robin, this is a mighty, mighty, mighty big step up from her. So I'm going to give Robin a fashion killer for this look. Dr. Wendy's in the house and a baby. <laughs> baby. Yes, Wendy. This is one of Wendy's Best looks ever in life. When I tell you Wendy has come leaps and bounds from her first season on this show. Remember her horrific ashy makeup that was way too dark. Remember her edges that were giving us very much Jermaine Jackson. Remember she was shaped like a smart water bottle. Baby, the glow up for Miss Wendy is blinding, honey. Blinding. The hair, tens across the boards. Sleek, honey. The barrel curls combed out, giving us old Hollywood glam. The makeup. The makeup blended to perfection, giving us mahogany goddess. Yes, the highlight, the contouring, the foundation, everything is on fleek. Love those little, um, very close to the ear, medium size earrings. So delicate, so elegant and sophisticated. This red one shoulder dress with this extreme exaggerated keyhole, honey, this is how you look in your confessional. This is how you give glam on a hundred, honey. This fits her body perfectly. It's just enough cleavage without being, you know, you know what I'm saying? This is giving rich. This screams I am a doctor with four degrees and I do political uh, analytic stuff on CNN and CBS and to the Today Show. Yes, Wendy. Yes, Wendy. Yes, fashion killer. Lion A. Mia is up next and she is serving us a hot pink look. And as you can see, there's a major difference from her hot pink look versus Candace. Not to say that it is drastically better, but it's a little bit more tasteful for me. However, this is not one of my favorite looks from Mia. The ponytail for me is kind of juvenile. Like, oh my God, can we let go of the side ponytail? Like ever since Beyonce did it back in what, 2014, 2015, you oh, have not let it go. Let it go, let it go. Um, I don't even like the way it's done. Like there isn't like any height in the top of it. It's just kind of like, slung over like a soft penis <laughs> you know they tried to add some little stones to give it a little bedazzle but it's just giving me junior high prom no the blazer it's it's weak it's weak it's boring you could pick this blazer up at h&m like really put some thought and effort into these confessional looks lady Mia should know better. So I'm going to have to give her a road kill. The green eyed demon herself, Hosele, is up next. And for Hosele, this is a better look for her. Is it anything that is just spectacular that we've never seen before? No. But for Hosele, this is somewhat of a step up. She has her hair pulled back in a messy ponytail. It looks better than most of her hairstyles because y'all know beginning of the season when sis had that um two-toned roadblock <laughs> wig on it was it was a mess so the hair is a step up the makeup looks really good her makeup is nice the earrings giving me claire's give me etsy giving me you know miss universe the dress you know some little spaghetti strap bias cut hot pink it fits her body it looks decent on her 
Is it anything that, like I said, we haven't seen before? No, it's pretty much basic and boring. And I just feel like y'all are seven seasons in. Giselle has been on this show since day one. I need for you girls to bring it. There is no excuse at this point. When you have franchises like um, Beverly Hills, and even the Miami girls, you know, bringing it with the fashions. You know what I'm saying? There are no excuses. And then when, you know, the Dubai girls slayed, then you have the reboot from New York with all of these fashion influencers that are going to be on this new season of New York. You girls got to step it up. So, roll kill. Jacqueline is stepping through. And is it just me or does she give me Savannah James? Uh, LeBron James wife in her confessional look right here the hair is cute you know eh. the floral print blazer dress is kind of giving me like an Asian Asian inspired look you know it has this little built-in belt it looks like she got this maybe off of AliExpress the heels are you know cute eh. I just feel like this is something that she could have wore in a scene on the show not so much for a confessional look it's just pedestrian for me you know this is just like a brunch look for me um she's pretty nonetheless but no roadkill and lastly we have Marshawn Lynch oops my bad um Shannon Sharp nope nope wrong again sorry Sharice <laughs> Sharice has on this shake and go wig, honey. The part ain't even plucked. It's just sitting on her big football head. These layers are not going to bother me. Like this was a wig that came already pre-styled. She literally just had to comb it through. You know, the makeup, it's, it's cool for what it is. But this yellow V-neck top, it, this is a top you can get from Lane Bryant. This is the top that you can get from Dillard's, from Lord and Taylor, from the women's section at Macy's. This top just looks like she's going to an HOA meeting. Girl, this makes her shoulders look even more wider than they are. I don't know why she wasn't at the Super Bowl um, trying to help the Philadelphia Eagles win because with them shoulders, she could have definitely did some tackling. This look is absolutely atrocious by Sharice. Pray we don't see her back next season. Really don't think that we will. Good riddance. Never want to see you and your broad shoulders ever again. Go back to the NFL. Roadkill. T-Squad, that was the last look. Let me know what you all thought of all of these confessional looks from season seven of The Real Housewives of Potomac. What were your favorite looks? What were your least favorite looks? Let me know what you all are excited to see at this Sunday's reunion part one. I will be dressing up. Can't wait for you guys to see my look, okay? Um, yeah, let's talk down below in the comment section. Make sure to thumbs up this video, like, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell button. I love you all, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.